Welcome to Code Sutra. In this video, I will be explaining lead code problem number 1129, shortest path with alternating colors. Even if you don't know what is breadth first search, I will be explaining step by step the answer to this solution. So in this problem, you are given the number of edges, three in this particular case, you are given the red edges and the blue edges. For example, you have three edges in this case, 0, 1 and 2. You are given a red edge that will travel from 0 to 1 and a blue edge from 2 to 1. What is that that you have to find? You have to find what is the minimum number of steps that you can travel from zero to that particular place. For example, zero to zero, how many steps do you need? Zero, right? Because you are already in the destination. From zero to one, what is the steps you need? You just need one step. From again, zero to two, you can never travel, right? Because there is no path from zero to two, so it will be minus one. So one additional constraint that is given is if you are traveling from one to any other city three, you can cannot travel with the same red path. You just have to use blue path. I will come to that again. But first, let's get into what is BFS. See, BFS is actually one of the most intuitive approaches. This is what actually you will be using in real life also. So let me explain this. And how do you actually code this? OK, if you know already know BFS, you can skip this part. For example, you are at the city B. Okay, so suppose you are at Bangalore and you are planning a trip to many other cities. Okay, these are the cities that you can travel in one step. M that is Mumbai, Delhi and Chennai. You can take a direct flight and you can travel to these places. And these are the places that don't have a direct flight, but you can travel from other cities. Okay, what is the first thing that you will do? You will cover all the places that you can travel with one shot. That is it, one single flight. That is you will first go to Mumbai, then go to Delhi, then go to Chennai, then you will think of other cities, right? So that is exactly what we are doing in breadth for search. That is you will cover all the cities that you can do it in one shot and then you will care about the next cities. Then after you have visited these three cities, right? You will think of, so you think, you ha I have visited Mumbai. Why should I not go to other place from Mumbai? Then from Mumbai, again, you go to the places again with one shot. So the total steps from Mumbai to N will be two steps. But from Mumbai, this is one step. So that is what Bridgeforge is doing. That is, you will visit all the cities that you can do in one step. That is M, D, N, C. Then you will take M and you will visit the cities that you can travel in one shot from city M. Then you will remove M. And from D, can you travel to anywhere? No, you will just remove from D. And from C, can you travel anywhere? Yes. So what is it that I did? If you look here very carefully, I did something similar to Q. Let me just show it again. So this are the cities. Initially, we will have B and we will remove B from it and we will write M, D and C. Then once you are removing M, you will write the next two cities that can be traveled in single shot. That is N and P. Similarly, after N and P is done, you will remove D, but from D you cannot travel anywhere. And then again from C, you can travel to V, right? So apart from this, you will also have track which are all the cities that you have already visited. Say, why do you want to track this? For example, there was one more flight from say Chennai to Delhi. You don't want this, right? You don't want to use two steps to travel to Delhi when you can travel in just one shot. That is why you will have a track of already visited cities so that you won't travel the same visited cities again. So I hope you understood BFS. Now there are additional constraints that is given in the problem and what are the changes that we have to accompany uh, in order to uh, take this additional constraint. So for example, you are at the city B and you are also given edge colors, for example, blue and red. These are the two edge colors. Think of it like this. Blue is you want to travel alone and red is you want to travel with a friend. You are such kind of a person who doesn't want to travel alone for two consecutive places. Say you are traveling alone from Mumbai to Bombay. Again, you don't want to travel alone. So there is no way you can go from Bangalore to again to Nagpur with a single shot or two steps. Why? Because there are two consecutive blues, so you cannot travel that. Can you travel to P? Yes, you can travel because you first go along the blue path, then you will take the red path. That is how you can travel. 
similarly if you look here again today also you can travel both with red path as well as these consecutive path so d can actually be visited twice once is you will go alone once you will go with friend so those are the two options that you have similarly for v also so what are the changes that we have to accompany from the previous thing one thing is that you have to remember colors right definitely uh, why because to city c from which city you came and you also have to remember how many steps that is similar to what we are doing in bfs that is the bfs and the using the queue that will remain same that is you have to remember the number of steps and you have to track the visited everything remains same but what are the changes the additional changes is that you have to remember the colors and also if you remember the visited nodes we just had a single uh, array right but in this case we have to have two arrays one is for the red color and one is for the blue color why because for example d can be visited both with red as well as blue so these are the two changes that we have to accompany with additional to the previous one so let's start how do we actually approach this problem and solve this problem so in this problem actually you are given the data in this format right red edges and blue edges but you have to somehow convert this to no this format that is from b what are the places you can travel to and what are the edges so either we can use two data structures here one is you can use list of list of integer one to indicate the red cities and one to indicate the blue cities but i definitely prefer using a new data structure or to create your own data structure this may be difficult initially but trust me this will help you solve a lot of problems and this will also not confuse you because using list of list of integers for you uh, for complicated problems will confuse you but please have a practice of creating your own data structure and it is very intuitive also what is this contain it simply contains the city for example this is bangalore it will contain bangalore and it will also contain blue cities that is for example all the cities it can travel with blue arrow for example it can travel to mumbai with blue arrow and d and c with red arrows this is very intuitive please start using your own data structure okay once you have done this what is the second step you are going to do once you have done this you will just store all the nodes right you have to store all the nodes somewhere and where do you store we store it in a hash map why do we want to store it in a hash map because it will have the reference that is the city one and it will have the node one what does this contain this contains the this data that is the city number blue cities and the red cities the first thing that we did was creating a node and so that we can convert this data into readable format and we will store it in a hash map that is the first thing that we do the second thing is we will create an array which will indicate the number of steps for this particular cities for example you are at city 0 what is the number of steps to city 0 it will be 0 and you have not visited any of the cities right so everything will be minus 1 then you will create a 2d array this is for 0 is for red color and 1 is for blue color true indicates that you have already visited this city with red color and this true is it indicates that you have already visited this city with blue color and f indicates you have not visited this city with particular color okay so let me step by step take you this particular problem so first thing is we will add 0 0 and minus 1 let me explain what this zero indicates this zero indicates the source and this zero indicates the number of steps you have taken to come to this and minus 1 indicates the color so what i have used is i have used zero for red color and i have used blue a uh, one for blue color okay so you will why because we have to remember the path which we came to this particular city right say for example you are uh, coming to city 1 with blue color you also have to remember the path that is why we will be having this also the first thing is you are at 0 and what is the number of steps that you require to come to 0 it is 0 and hence it is 0 already and these are true already then it will be minus 1 because you don't need any color to come to the city the first thing is you will remove this node and what do you do you check in the hash map if this city is there yes zero is there right once you take out zero from that you have the data of the blue and red cities that you can visit from this particular node right so from zero what are the blue cities that you can visit you can visit one 
so how many steps do you require that will be zero plus one right whatever you took to visit the previous city plus one and the color is uh, there is no color in the previous cities so the color to visit this will be one similarly two one and zero that is you are visiting the city two with one step and with which color with the red color and don't forget you have to change the data here also that is city one is visited with blue color then city two is visited with blue color this will be false initially so this will be true and this will be false and this will also be false initially so city three again can be visited with the red color so this will become true so this zero indicates it has been visited with red color red color and this one has been visited with blue color similarly once you remove this right once you remove this what is the next city that you can visit i don't remove it uh, but you have to remove it so what is the next city from one you can visit that is the city four and what is the number of steps two and one additional check you have to check is this is one so can you again visit it with a blue color no right so there is a red path so can you visit it yes so we will mark the distance as two, two. so zero one two three four this will just become two all the others will be one 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 respectively because of the first three steps and which color did you take again zero right so things get interesting uh, when you come to this node that is the third node so from third node what is the other two options we can visit node number two as well as node number five right so but if you look here what is node number two what is the option here that we have we can visit node number two with how many steps the already steps is one plus one we can visit with two steps but if you look here two is already having one step so do you want to even continue further no right so we won't be writing this why because two is already visited so even with less number of steps so we don't even want to add this to the particular array so what is the next option that we have the next option is five so five what is the number of steps that we'll be having the number of steps is two but what is the color that we have again zero but remember here also we have zero here also we have zero is this a valid path no this is not a valid path so this also will not be adding and this minus one also doesn't get changed and this also will remain as false so let me walk you through the code uh, before walking you to the uh, code 99% uh, of the uh, viewers of my channel don't subscribe to my channel so the community is growing uh, please do consider uh, subscribing to my channel if you have enjoyed the video and have learned something from the video the first thing that we will be doing is we will be defining a node class that is it will have the integer number for example this indicates this is the node 0 and blue cities indicates all the blue cities that it can travel with the blue path or the blue edge then the red cities will indicate all the red cities it can travel that is with the red path okay this is the first thing that we will do and let me take you through the actual code first thing what we are doing is we are converting this data that is given in the format of uh, uh, edges that is in the first slide right it is given in this format so what are we doing we are just converting that to an hash map so we are converting to the hash map and storing the data in the first step in the second step what are we doing we are both initiating the answer array with everything as minus one and we are creating this array also what does this indicate this is red color and this is blue color that is the second step after that what we are doing we are creating a queue and we are adding 0, 0, 1 to the queue. That is the first element, right? What does this mean? To 0, we don't take any steps. And uh, the color is also minus 1. That is the first thing. And this will be true. Uh, because both the cities have, uh, city 0 is visited with both the colors. And how many steps do we take? We take 0 steps. Then what do we do? We remove the first element from the queue and we get all the details that is we get the node number we get how many steps did we take to visit this particular city and also the previous element once you have got all the details what do we do we get from the hash map the particular node and we will get all the red cities say for example we get node 0 and we will get all the red cities that is 2 and 3 right so once we have got 2 and 3 what is the next thing that we will check is we will check if 
this particular city has been visited by this particular color already or not if a city has been visited by red there is no meaning in continuing it again right that is the first thing and we will also check if the color that is the previous color is opposite to this color in the first step it is true why because it is not equal to minus one then we will check in the answer array if it is already one or something we won't change but if it is minus one then we will definitely change the number of steps and we will mark this node as visited we will mark this city as visited in the red color or in the blue color that is what we are doing in this particular step and then again we will add this data to the queue similarly we do for all the blue colors and finally we have the answer array and we will return the answer array i hope uh, i understood all of your questions and please do comment the time complexity in the comments thank you for watching the video please do like and subscribe